cycle I should be finishing up any time now. Talk about a recluse. He only comes out once a year, and he never catches any flock for it. Probably lives up there to avoid the taxes. Forgot about the reindeer. Did that stop the old Grinch? No. The Grinch simply said, If I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. <laughs> oh, man. So he called his dog Max, then he took some red thread and tied a big horn on top of his head. <laughs> All right, you're a reindeer. Here's your motivation. Your name is Rudolph. You're a freak with a red nose and nobody likes you. Then one day, Santa picks you and you save Christmas. Now forget that part. We'll improvise. Just keep it kind of loosey goosey. You hate Christmas. You're gonna steal it. Saving Christmas is a lousy ending. Way too commercial. Lights! Camera! Action! Brilliant! You reject your own nose because it represents the glitter of commercialism. Why didn't I think of that? Cut, print, check the gate, moving on. were dark, quiet snow filled the air, all the Who's were all dreaming, sweet dreams without care, when he came to the first little house on the square. Welcome to Whoville, Max! Meanwhile... Ah! Ah! Oh, that's just wrong! Very... Very... What? Did you hear something? It's our first stop. The old Grinchy Claws hissed 
and he climbed to the roof, empty bags in his fist. He'd slide down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. He's planning a double twisting, interrupted four, flying two and a half with a combo tuck and pike. High degree of difficulty. He got stuck only once, for a moment or two. Blasted water weight goes right to my hips. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flue. A little more stealth, please. With the little old stockings all hung in a row. The stockings? He grinned. Are the first thing to go. Okay, fellas. Chow time. Slunk to the ice box. Slunk. He eyed the Who's feast. He took the Who pudding. He took the roast beast. Hark! He cleaned out that ice box as quick as a flash. Why that Grinch? He even took their last can of Who hash. Then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. And now. Grinned the Grinch. I stuff up the tree. And the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shove when he heard a small sound like the coo of a dove. Excuse me. Grinch had been caught by this tiny Who daughter who'd got out of bed for a cup of cold water. Santa Claus, what are you doing with our tree? <gasps> Look! <laughs> Give me a boost into that tunnel! But you know, that old Grinch was so smart and so slick. He thought up a lie, and he thought it up quick. Why, my sweet little dot. The fake Santa Claus lied. There's a light on this tree that won't light on one side. So I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. Sit up there, and I'll bring it back here. Santa, what's Christmas really about? Vengeance! Er, <gasps> uh, I mean... Presents, I suppose. Hmm. I was afraid of that. and his fib fooled the child. Then he patted her head, and he got her a drink, and he sent her to bed.
Santa? What? Don't forget the Grinch. I know he's mean and hairy and smelly. His hands might be cold and clammy. But I think he's actually kind of sweet. Sweet! Sweet. Merry Christmas, Santa. And when Cindy Lou went up with her cup. Nice kid. Bad judge of character. He went to the chimney and stuffed the tree up. <laughs> The last thing he took was the log for their fire. On their walls he left nothing but some hooks and some wire. And the one speck of food that he'd left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse.